Hello, today we are doing a video review for the Sumraza Arduino Starter Kit. Let's go ahead and open it up here. Alright, so we've got a CD that includes uh, some code, a data sheet, and some libraries. Um, I tested this board with the Arduino 1.06 and it works with no additional drivers or anything. Inside you get a parts list of everything. Um, you get an Arduino, an LCD, a USB cable, a breadboard, a servo, a four segment display, an IC chip to power different components. You get a buzzer, active buzzer and passive buzzer, a potentiometer, 65 jumper wires, diodes, a photoresistor, a thermistor, a tilt switch, a small button, I actually get five small buttons, five yellow LEDs, five blue, five green, five red, and one RGB LED. You also get uh, a variety of resistors, so you get 10, and it says R, I'm not sure why it says R, but anyway, 10R, 100R, 220R, 330R, 1K, 2K, 5K1, so maybe 5100K, and then you get 10K, no that's just 5K, that's a typo, that's the one's not supposed to be there, 10K, 100K, and then 1 million. You get a 10 female to male wire connections, you get an 8x8 dot matrix, and you get a temperature and humidity sensor, and our CD. So, let's go ahead and check it out. So, first bag here, these are all a bunch of resistors. Uh, these are all blue, which I believe is the fire resistant ones if they do blow up. Uh, here you have your tilt switch, RGB LED, photoresistor, and transist, trans, let me get the right name for it, thermistor, so that's for detecting temperature, that's for detecting sunlight, um, and here you get a potentiometer, which is just basically a glorified volume knob, you get your buttons, and your two different uh, buzzers, Uh, your diodes that allows current one way, all your different LEDs, and your temperature sensor. And then in here is an LCD. So this is just a liquid crystal, if I can open it here, liquid crystal display. Uh, this runs on, I think, seven pins is what you need to connect it to Arduino. Um, but these are fun because you can um, do readouts. So you can say, hello, my name is blah, blah, blah. Um, great little board. Uh, this is like a black with a white writing on it. Breadboard, if I can get it out here. So this is a good size breadboard. Um, this is definitely a starter breadboard and it's a good size one. Um, as you can see, it's nice and huge. It's got 60, give or take 65 long by 10 and two power rails. So this is a good little board. Now the way a breadboard works is this whole side is connected where the blue line is and this whole side where the red line is connected. So as you can see, there's two rows. So for every, let me get a resistor here. So I already opened it, that's why some of these are loose. So every row here, these are all connected and then there's a break here. And then this whole row is powered separately. So theoretically, you could have one, two, three, four different power rails for your circuit. So you could have three volts, you could have five volts, you could have 12 volts, and you could have seven volts. And then you can have your components internally here. Now, the way these work is 
these are all new alphabetical so you have A through J and there's a break here so all the gap in the middle nothing connects there so you can connect a component for example on two pins so I am on the F and E rail so now technically this is this resistor is bridging these two together so that's just a little helpful tip um, and the reason why the breadboards are built like that is because when you have your IC chip, so on the next piece you have your 8x8 matrix, you have your 7 segment, 4 character display, and you have your IC chip. So here's the IC chip, be very careful, these are sharp, if you do step on them, they do not feel good, as I know from experience. So let me go ahead and put this chip in. Alright. So as you can tell, the chip is divided on each side, and each pin is now has its own set of rows. So if I take one of our jumper wires, the pin 1 has its own row, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, pin 5, pin 6, pin 7, pin 8, all the way down on both sides. So I can plug something into this spot here, right? and then I can plug it into our positive rail. So now this first pin on this IC chip is now positive voltage. So just a little intro to how breadboards work. There's tons more videos out there if you have more questions. So here's your matrix. So as you can see, it's got pins on the back here. Now the only thing I wish you can't, you can put this on the breadboard but then you can't access any of the pins so that's kind of a bummer because then you really uh, can't leave this on the breadboard you have to get flat wire it's solid core wire and extend all those pins out and plug them in here and then put your Arduino and patch down what you need because as you can see it's got 14 pins I think one no 16 pins so each channel can get its own pin on the breadboard, but you can't get to any of the wires. Um, and then I will post a link in the video below in the description. Um, the manufacturer sent me a link to like a product page that has all the uh, the pin out, like plug in what you can connect to what. One USB cable, it's about three feet. And then here is the jumper wires. So now these are great. Let me get the orange ones here because I already used them. So these work great because then it allows you to jumper from parts to parts on your breadboard. So you can have many of these. You can have one or two depending on what you need and then you can jumper things. So that's pretty helpful. And you get a bunch, all different lengths, all different colors, really, really, really good little set. Um, if you're definitely uh, looking for a starter set, I would say this is a great start. Gives you enough to get you going and a little bit more. So this is a micro servo. It's got three pins. You can run it right off of Arduino works with no issues. Um, if you go to arduino.cc, they have all kinds of tutorials. Um, also, adafruit.com has a ton of tutorials as well. And the star of the show, the Arduino, technically this is an Uno. Um, obviously, this is a clone of an Arduino Uno. As you can see, very 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 good clone works without any issues um, like I said I ran this exact board plugged it in my computer on 1.06 works like a charm uh, when you get your board the first thing you want to do is make sure it has power and make sure that it works so let me go ahead I got a battery bank here so we can show you guys what it does when it turns on. So now these come pre-programmed with a um, 
a test code. So as you can see, green light is good. And then we will get a blinking light once the code runs. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I thought I reset this before I did the video, but maybe I didn't. Anyway, this li orange light, instead of being solid, it will flash for one second on, one second off. That's just a default test code that they run on the Arduinos. But this is a good clone and I am super impressed with it. And last but not least, actually there's one more thing. Uh, this is the rainbow connector, I'm gonna call it. It's basically just wires and you can peel these off. These are actually individual wires, but it's a male to female connection. So if you have your Arduino board, you can plug in pins along the board you know you have your power your grounds your inputs your outputs whatever you want to use and then what this allows is this allows you to break out these things so for example let's say I have my temperature sensor this is the temperature and humidity sensor and I have it connected well now I can use this fancy ribbon cable and I can directly connect the Arduino board to the temperature sensor and then this is all in one unit. So now I don't need my breadboard anymore. I can just do this and it works like a charm. Now another use for this cool cable, which is actually I think the best intention for it is on your display. So what you can do, and there's several videos out there on how to hook these up. Um, the code is very, very simple. I'm not going to go over any of the coding stuff because I don't have the tools to record my PC effectively. And so it would just be a matter, it would be my camera in front of the screen, um, which is not cool. So we have our... This obviously isn't the right connections, uh, so don't look at this as this is just for obviously for the demo. And then we have this here, and then you have your Arduino. So then let's say you plug in all your pins. You've got that pin there, that pin there, that pin there. Again, I'm not doing this in any specific order. I'm just doing this for the review to give you guys an example of some possible projects that you can do with the item. So you have these two connected and then you can put this because it has these panel mount holes you can put this on your project and then you can have this hiding inside. And then what you can do is you can have your temperature sensor next to it so maybe you can use this as a digital thermometer. So you can you know say oh temperature is blank humidity is blank and then what you could really do if you want to get crazy is you could have um, uh, just the LEDs, these. You can have one of these and you can have a red one and a green one and a yellow one and a blue one. And you know, blue can represent cold, yellow can represent warm, green can represent high humidity, red can represent low humidity. And then you have like a little, a little weather station. So something cool. Um, but overall, this is a super awesome product. If you are in the market for a starter kit for Arduino, and you know there's about a gazillion of them out there, uh, this is a really, really good one that gets you going. Um, you know, and you can make a weather station, you know, a humidity temperature weather station, um, like I just rattled off. And if you found this video helpful, hit the helpful button and the Amazon review. If you liked it, I'm gonna post it on YouTube as well. Definitely, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I will do my best to answer any and all of them. Thank you for watching.